Everybody is afraid of sharks. Whenever you see a fin in the water, you know something bad is gonna happen. Ever since the classic Steven Spielberg movie kept swimmers out of the water back in 1975. We have to close the beaches. The shark has been one of our most feared movie villains. It scared the f out of me. People just stopped going to the beach. They were afraid to get in the water. I don't go into the ocean past my ankles anymore. Whether they're leaping into the air, flopping onto land, or slicing through the water at top speed, sharks continue to amaze and terrify us. Always terrified of sharks. They're killing eating machines. The instant cult classic Sharknado took social media by storm and became the most talked about shark movie since Jaws. Sharknado is a phenomenon that happened on TV. Before you see it, you're like, I hope it's gonna be awesome. And then you see it and it's more awesome than you even thought it was gonna be. Sharknado was more a part of my life than any actual weather event ever has been. And who thought of this? I mean, how high do you have to be? I hadn't smoked not one joint, and I enjoyed it from beginning to end. If you didn't think sharks were scary enough in the ocean, now they're flying around the air. Running down the street and having to duck from a flying shark. <laughs> Super funny. They'll flap their tail around like, we're coming to get ya. But then they're all, hot crap. My favorite scene is Ian Zeering with the chainsaw. Move! Get out of the way! Get out of there! Claudia, move! It wasn't until I read that scene did I realize that I have to do this movie. You don't usually wake up in the morning and go, you know what? I'm probably gonna have to jump in a shark's mouth with a buzzsaw. He did everything exactly the way I would have done it, except I would have said, time to go dark, shark. Luckily, the shark doesn't chew. Ah, ow, you son of a... I'm assuming once he got into the mouth, he had to undo some shark tongue. When you're in the belly of the beast, it's hard to get some elbow room and then just cut his way out from the inside. <laughs> then all of a sudden it cuts through. I mean, I guess I always knew a chainsaw was a weapon, but I have a whole newfound respect for chainsaws. Because it looks badass, but with a chainsaw, it's like, bomb, bomb. There's really no formal education for using a chainsaw against a shark. It's really on the fly. Is it bad that I officially now have a lady boner for Ian's earring? <laughs> His exit of the shark, shall we say, ah! is one of the greatest moments in cinema history. Ah! Ah! Ew! It's like birth. It's like watching adult people be born. Not only saving himself, but saving the lady who was swallowed 10, 15 minutes earlier. Also not chewed. And technically, that shark that ate her saved her from dying in the fall from the helicopter. So really, that shark was a hero. Iron Zeering, straight from the peach pit to shark's stomach. Nobody makes that transition like this guy. I mean, born out of a shark's tummy. That was gross. If people didn't even see the movie, they saw that clip it became an iconic moment. Sharknado is a cut above the rest, but now let's take a look at other shark movies that deserve to be at the top of the food chain. Join us for a feeding frenzy of finny fun as we count down the biggest, baddest, and bloodiest shark bites. Let the shark nanigans begin. <laughs> A shark was bad. What if there were two of them but in one body? This is brilliant and terrifying. And it's just more carnage. You always need more carnage. Right off 
the bat, it stars Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra? I love her. Carmen Electra is in a lot of motion pictures on boats because she loves semen. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> yeah. So you know this is going to be a deeply philosophical movie. I mean, there's going to be boobs, but there's also going to be a lot of complex emotion. Dr. Ann, have you seen Mike and Jeff? They didn't make it. I like when a movie doesn't lie with its title. You know what you're going to get, and you get that, and even more. That's what makes this movie great. There, there are a few great moments. The beginning of the movie with water skiers getting eaten and attacked. When I saw the title, Two-Headed Shark, and I saw two chicks skiing, I thought, they're both going to get it. Let me guess. A two-headed shark is going to come and eat them both simultaneously. 